I also want to look at the construct that we are spending over $3 trillion a year at the federal government to deal with the boy crisis every year. We have a budget of 20 and we're spending $3 trillion a year to deal with the fallout of that. As opposed to if we ran 50-50s, we ran maximum parental involvement, we would see most of that evaporate. Is that correct? That's about correct. And you know, no one has an exact figure on this, but just to make sure that you understand that we're not exaggerating here, um, just let me give you a few examples. You heard me say a little while ago that ISIS recruits are almost completely either boys with minimal or no father involvement or among the girls, girls with minimal or no father involvement. Think of the trillions or so dollars we spend with all the ramifications of defending ourselves against ISIS. And think of the loss of rights and freedoms that we have and we justify to have all the security that we have at the airports and all the security that we're increasingly having at schools and all the security that we have around the country just for paying for the multiple levels of security to say nothing about the insecurities in our psyches about being attacked by ISIS. Um, and so um, the, the disruption of our foreign policy and the enormous amount of money we spend um, doing all sorts of decisions foreign policy wise uh, to, to protect against ISIS. So that's just ISIS. Then take a prisons. We've had a 700% increase in the prison population nationwide. But in California, there's been 18 new prisons and versus one new university built in the last, I think it's three decades. And we all know the enormous amount of costs that it, that it takes to house prisoners to say nothing of, and when we can measure that cost, we often talk about the cost of prisons. We don't talk about the loss of income coming from boys who could then pay taxes are now, instead of paying taxes, they're absorbing taxpayer money. So when we look at those types of lost opportunities, when we look at the fact that boys who have minimal to no father involvement are far more likely to drop out of school. And in addition to committing crimes, they're far more likely to be unemployed. So a boy who drops out of high school has a 20% unemployment rate when he's in his 20s, one of the highest levels of normal employment uh, for boys. And during that normal employment period of having a 20% unemployment rate, those are all boys that are absorbing taxpayer money and not paying money in taxes. We then go into the mental health issues of boys who commit suicide, boys who are depressed, boys who are taking um, drugs as a result of countering that depression, the opioid crisis, which a, per, a high percentage of which comes out of boys who are taking drugs and being self-destructive and causing pain to themselves and cutting and, and doing other things. Uh, all of these costs together are about $3 trillion a year, is what I calculated when I wrote The Boy Crisis. And those are $3 trillion a year that we could be building um, incentives for boys to be involved in um, families programs to honor boys and instead of saying uncle sam needs you to potentially die as a warrior to say we now have we are now going to be talking about boys as future father warriors and building up boys skill sets in first second third grade what is the single most important skill set we can build up for a boy to be a father warrior it is not even directly related to fathering. It's related to communication. We should be having communication skill training in the United States and all developed nations as they do in Denmark in first and second grade so that both boys and girls learn how to communicate with each other. We find that when boys and girls hear the way each other feels and what they think, that there's an evaporation of bullying. So if we wanna stop bullying, we don't just bully the bullies. We, we recognize that bullies and the bullied are usually very similar personalities, low self-concept personalities. And people gain, improve in their self-concept when they hear that they're being paid attention to and be heard and heard by other people in the classroom. So I wanna be really clear. Every time I go to the airport, it's because I'm worried about terrorists or some person doing something. That's the boy crisis. That's the boy crisis. That's usually a lack of father involvement. So yes. You're putting through this, going through this long line of at the airport, think this is because 
I have not supported an increase in father involvement. Correct. So I am boom. not. I am not. In, boom. I have not moved for PT fifty in my state. Mm -hmm. Every time we go to the airport, it's because lack of father involvement. It's because of the boy crisis, and we've not pushed for 50-50 involvement because boys that hurt, hurt us. Yes. Whenever we talk about prisons and the judicial system, whenever we spend $75,000 a year in California to put somebody in prison, that's the boy crisis. That's lack of father involvement. That's me not voting for 50-50. Whenever we have an opioid crisis, that's lack of father involvement. That's, that's the boy crisis. That's me not pushing for 50-50s in my state, correct? Correct. Whenever I go to school and see ADHD meds and kids on ADHD meds, that's more than likely lack of father involvement. That's the boy crisis. And that's not me pushing for 50-50 maximum parental involvement. Correct? Correct. When I look at 8 out of 10 people that commit suicide are men, more than likely that is the boy crisis. That's lack of father involvement. That's not pushing for maximum parental involvement in 50-50s. Correct? Uh, more than anything else, yes, correct. When we talk about failing schools, or crime, more than likely that has to do with the boy crisis, lack of father involvement, and me not pushing for 50-50 outcomes in, in my state. Is that correct? More than anything else, yes. So when we look at homelessness and the drastic increase of homelessness we have and people holding signs, that has to do with the boy crisis and lack of father involvement, more likely than not, correct? Correct. When we talk about failing schools, we talk about drugs, we talk about teenage suicide, teenage pregnancy, that has to do with lack of father involvement, more likely than not, correct? Correct. When we talk about uh, government spending having to do with single parenting and all the picadillos with that, that has to do with the boy crisis and lack of father involvement, more likely than not, correct? Correct. So let me be clear. Father involvement is not the only variable in the boy crisis. There are about 10 causes of the boy crisis. Some are environmental, um, some are the purpose for it, like I mentioned before, but um, some are this, this historical gap between heroic intelligence and health intelligence. But more than any other single thing of the 10 causes of the boy crisis is lack of father involvement, either minimal father involvement or no father involvement. 